Oh my god, it's a 10. It's a freaking 10. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and it came off. What's going on guys? This is Eric Faye, Typical Outdoors. Now today guys, I want to talk about nets. When I first started fishing and looking for nets, I couldn't find the information I wanted, so I want to break it down for you all. And also, guys, I was a bonehead when I first started fishing bigger swim baits. I was like, guys, I'm throwing swim baits. I am the truth. I am badass. <laughs> I'm not going to use a net. But, guys, I learned quickly with huge treble hooks, you do want a net. And also, guys, if you're using treble hooks with crankbaits and whatnot, nets can be your friend. You don't want to get that hook stuck in you. Well, guys, I want to talk about the different types of nets. You have your rubber net. You have the nylon net and you have a PVC net. They all are a little bit different. So first we're gonna talk about a rubber net. So with rubber nets, guys, they help to save the fish life a little bit more. If you're catching release fishermen, you probably wanna pick the rubber net because it's good for their slime coat. And also guys, one of the biggest perks for most guys is you don't have to worry about your treble hooks getting caught up in the net. That can take five minutes sometimes. Dealing with a fish moving around, dealing with those treble hooks caught up in a nylon net. So this is one of the biggest perks of having a rubber net now with rubber nets you do have some drawbacks biggest one is when you're bringing this net through the water it has a drag you can't go through the water as quickly also guys rubber nets are a lot more heavier than a nylon net well that's the pros and cons when it comes to a rubber net next guys i don't have one on me it's gonna be a nylon net now one of the biggest perks of a nylon net is it is super lightweight even with a bigger net guys when you're catching and chasing those trophy bass that nylon net is going to be able to go through the water a lot easier and also you can handle a bigger net by yourself so a nylon net does have some perks guys and it's cheaper it's not expensive the drawbacks to a nylon net are though if you have treble hooks those hooks can get caught up in that net guys and it is super aggravating and also this net is not the best if you're going to be a catch and release fisherman because it takes some of the slime coat off of a fish Lastly, guys, now I'm going to talk about it's going to be a PVC coated net. I don't have as much experience with these nets, but that is a nylon net coated with a PVC like material. So it's supposed to be lightweight still, but also protect the fish. Now, guys, I want to show you the two type of nets that I carry with me. First off, this is going to be my net for wading and also kayak fishing. A lot smaller, guys. This is the Ego Fishing rubber net. I'm all about catch and release for the most part, you know. Sometimes I do like to eat fish, but this is my net. I can use it with one hand. Get in, get in. Yeah. It's not heavy, and I'm confident that I can land that fish. Next, the bigger net, guys. This is gonna be. My bigger net, a lot of you guys told me, <laughs> atypical, you need a bigger net for your bass rig with those bigger fish. So guess what? I got a bigger net. This is the Ego Fishing Net. This one is also rubber too. Good size net. These are my two nets, guys. And also one thing you may want to look into also is to see if your net floats. All nets don't float. That is a perk, guys, if the net magically falls out the boat. I hope that makes picking the right net a lot easier. Well, guys, get out there, catch you a giant fish, pick out the right net, and we'll see you on a video soon. Please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Holler.